a cikin shirin taskar VOA na wannan makon yayin da kungiyoyin kwadago a Najeriya suka fasa tafiya yajin aikin gama gari saboda tsabar tsadar rayuwa a kasar shin wani irin tasiri karin albashi da gwamnati ta yi wa ma'aikata zai yi wajen rage da dadin cire tallafin mai muna dauke da karin bayani a karin farko a tarihin Amurka an tsige kakakin majalisar wakilan kasar komai yayi zafi ku kasance da mu a cikin shirin danjin irin wainar da ake toyawa a siyasa Amurka sannan a bangaren nishadi dubban mutane ne suka samu halartar kasaitaccen bikin raya a duna duniya na shekarar 2023 da ya gudana a birnin Washington DC na Amurka inda kasashe 180 suka samu wakilci Jama'a masu kallon mu assalamu alaikum da fatan kuna cikin koshin lafiya Zahra Aminu Fage ce ke farin cikin kasancewa da ku a wani sabon shirin taskar VOA daga nan birnin Washington DC Zamu bude shirin na wannan makon ne da batun ƴan kwadago a Najeriya A farkon mako ne kungiyoyin kwadago a kasar suka janye shirin su na shiga yajin aikin gama gari wanda suka so farawa daga rana uku ga watan Oktoba Kungiyoyin sun so tafiya yajin aikin ne sakamakon tsadar rayuwa da ake fama da shi tun bayan da gwamnatin kasar ta cire tallafin man Peter. Kungiyoyin kwadagon sun janye yajin aikin ne bayan sun cimma yarjejeniya da gwamnatin kasar wacce ta hada da yin karin naira 35 a albashin ma'aikatan gwamnatin tarayya. Kazalika gwamnatin ta yi alƙawarin baiwa iyalai marasa ƙarfi miliyan 15.25 naira a wata na tsawon watanni uku. Kungiyoyin kwadagon sun dakatar da shirin yajin aikin ne na kwana 30 yayin da za su ci gaba da tattaunawa da gwamnati dan ganin an biya musu bukatun su. Simon Bako Lalon shine ministan kwadago na Najeriya ga kuma abin da yake cewa a game da janye yajin aikin. Arising from the withdrawal of subsidies, biyo ba matachung gona tinta la yen Nigeria na chile tala pi daga chini kaya ala barakatema Peter akasar, dakuma abin da haki ya hyper na kalua kota shin para shin kaya yiki ungio yangu adogo na NLC da TUC sika peta da sana roro adentefi ayajung aiki do mama salamba gavgonati ta sawe tinani. Tidi wa adin yetika kuma atalata nani uku ga watan oktober sika shidi atundema ayajin aiki na seba batagani. Consequently, a meeting was called by the federal government. Gameda hakane gwamnatin taraya takira wani taro danipun kauchi wa yene ishi ga ayajin aiki kuma bayan tata una waza kanu waki na gwamnati danak unjuwa yung kwa adagwang anchem wasu yirjiro yi kamar haka. Gwamnatin tarayya ta amince da bada karin naira 35 ga dukkan nan ma'aikatan da ke aiki a ƙarƙashin ta a matsayin wucin gadi farawa daga watan satumba da ya gabata kafin sanya hannu akan dokar sabon tsarin albashi na kasa Federal government suspends collection Na biyu gwamnati ta dakatar da karbar haraji a tsarin cinikayyar man diesel daga wannan wata na Oktoba da muka shiga Kungiyoyin kwadagon sun amince su dakatar da shiga yajin aikin da suka shirye yi zuwa kwanaki 30 da ke tafi. Bangarorin biyu sun amince a mika wannan yarjejeniya ga daya daga cikin kotunan kasar domin sarrafa ta ta riki daya ta zama tamkar daftarin hukuncin kotu a cikin mako guda. to kowane tasiri karin naira 35 a wata zai yi ga ma'aikatan gwamnatin tarayya da zasu amfana ko wannan kari zai rage musu radadin cire tallafin man idan sun je cefa ne a kasuwa shin yaya wadanda ba za su amfana da wannan karin albashin ba kuma baraka bashir ta shiga kasuwa a Kano ga kuma rahotanta Manzali Balaraba ya kasa yi ma'aikacin gwamnatin tarayya ne wanda zai amfana da karin naira 35 a albashin sa har na tsawon watanni shida. Sai dai a ganin shi yadda farashin kayan masarufi yayi tashin gwaurin zabi a kasuwa babu wani tasiri da wannan karin albashi zai wa rayuwar sa. 
kamar yanda aka kara mana 1035 a albashin mu da muke dauka wanda kuma ana magana na tsohon wata shida ne in wannan wata shida ya kare me za a yi mana menene next abinda za a yi kamar yanzu in ka dauke ni albashi na in na dauka ka so tamanin mafi tsoka yana tafiya a fannin siyo kayan abinci abinda za mu ci mu sha so kuma ina da yaya guda biyu ka tuna akwai school fees din su akwai rashin lafiya akwai kudin makaranta da ake ba su da abinda za su ci in sun je makaranta so ya kamata gwamnati ta ƙara duba wannan al'amari saboda maganar gaskiya wannan 235 ba abinda za ta canja wannan ƙarin albashin dai ma'aikatan gwamnatin tarayya zai shafa wadanda yawan su bai kai na sauran ma'aikatan jihohi da kananan hukumomi da bangarorin masu zaman kansu ba haka ne yasa wasu ke ganin ƙarin babu wani tasiri da zai yi ra'ayina akan wannan a kudi da shugaban kasa ya kara ya kara ma'aikata a ko in ce ma'aikata na federal government dan ba zan ce na kasa ba tunda al'umar 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 Najeriya na state sun fi ko ina yawa sun fi na federal government yawa so amma ba ta al'umar wanda suke cikin suke cikin tsauri suke cikin rayuwa mai tsanani ba ta so ake ba wanda suke daukan high salary salarin su ya fi kowanne yawa ta so ake yi ba ta al'umma da suke cikin tsanani ba so ya kamata a ce al'umma da suke cikin wannan tsanani na other states na sauran states state na Nigeria an duba su ba iya na federal government ba Dr Abdul Nasir Turawa na jami'ar Dutse da ke jihar Jigawa ya ce wannan kari tsadar rayuwa kawai zai kara wa al'umman Nigeria shi wannan tarin ko kuma a ce a wat da gwamnatin tarayya ta bayar na naira 235 ga wasu ma'aikata a wannan ba zai warware matsalar da yan Najeriya suka samu kansa a ciki ba musamman kuma kai duba da cewa wasu tsararren mutane ne za su amfana da wannan kudin ma'aikatan gwamnatin tarayya an ka dauki yawan sa a Najeriya ba komai bane kuma sannan shi kudin an sa su a cikin economy din Najeriya hakan zai sake haifar da tahawar farashi wanda shi kuma zai jawar gwar mutane wata matsala su gashi da su yi benefitin da kashi kudin da aka ba ma'aikatan tarayya ba kuma sannan ga tahawar farashi zai zo daga karshe ya ce wannan ba shine hanyar warware matsaloli da halin matsi da yan Najeriya ke ciki ba ko ya makomar rago yan Najeriya bayan wannan kari lokaci ne kadai zai bayyana haka Baraka Bashir Taskar VOA daga Kano a Nigeria to yayin da wasu suke sukar wannan yarjejeniya da kungiyoyin kwadago suka cimma da gwamnati bisa cewa karin 235 a albashi ma'aikatan gwamnatin tarayya ne kadai zai shafa Komarad Abdu Titus Amba shuga uh, mataimakin shugaban kungiyar kwadago ta NLC ya ce ba haka lamarin yake ba karin albashin zai shafi sauran ma'aikatan gwamnatocin jihohi da kananan hukumomi da ma bangarori masu zaman kansu ya sanar da hakan ne a hira da alasan bala a Abuja a kungiyan ce in ka tashi neman abu ka zana duk kawo ba da kake nima shine ake ce give and take kuma play by again shine kungiyan ce dokan kungiya ya bada in kana neman abu ka sa kana neman dubu 100 ko ba gaskiya bane sai ka zo ka nima dubu 100 sai aka ce ba za a iya baka dubu 100 nan ba amma ga dubu 50 kai hakuri ka kama wannan tukuna mu ga me zai kaya gaba ka gan ku ya cancanci ka saurara don wanda kake yi da ita da shi fa shine shi ya dauke ka aiki kana da yanci shi ma da yanci ko ba gaskiya bane to mun zo na mun duba aka sare kusan duk abinda muka nema a yi mana tsakani ga Allah gwamnati ta yi kokari ko mutun ya yadda ko yake gwamnati ta yi kokari ana misali shi shugaban kasa shi ya fita da bakin shi yace yayi karin kudi na 225 cikin sawoyi kasa da uku hudu biyar aka samu kari ka gan ku ba samun ta cikin sauki yace wata shida 
muka ce ba mu yadda ba yace ya yadda sai ma inda ta yi ko ba gaskiya bane yace yace kananan ma'aikata muka ce waye karamin ma'aikaci kowa ma ai albashi yake biyan shi yace kowa ma ya karba wannan karin wannan watan goman nan za a biya kuma za a biya areas na wata daya na watan taron nan da ta wuce jahohi jawanci yanzu ka iya cewa uh, NLC ta yi da rayuwa musamman uh, ma'aikatan kananan hukuma bi da na jahohi da wasu ma dake uh, wato kamfanin wa masu zaman kansu kuma suna tare da a ayyo da rabata ta so ba ai da kabari na kwanta zasu ya ce zasu zasu eto dalilin mi dalilin shine zasu ga kamar yanzu karin gwamnatin tare ya ce a'a ai bai muka bayani ba shi yasa na ce maka hadisu yauwa a yajejede ne muka shiga cikin ta dama duk asalin ta in za a yi karin albashi gwamnatin tare ya ake zauna da ita ta hitar da tsarin kari akwai jihohi da na sani cewa sun zauna gwamnatin sun zauna sun ce sun yi ƙarin dubu goma kana sani da wannan ma ma'aikatan su wannan yau dara ne shi ma gwamnatin suka zauna fa ba su tunduba kowa ba sun ce mu mun lura don janye tallafin nan mun ƙara dubu goma akwai wanda sun ƙara dubu ashirin ashirin akwai wanda ma sun yi fiye da haka kana ji mu da muka yi wannan abu a kungiyanci muna da yancin mu yi negotiating the federal government tun da mu a santa muke ko ba gaskiya bane kuma mun yi da muka yi wannan sai muka ce to gwamnatin ja su ma su 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 bi abin da gwamnatin tarayya ta yi abin da aka yi a gwamnatin tarayya ta gangara har gwamnatin har ja ta gangara har kananan hukumomi ta gangara har ma'aikata masu zaman kansu ba na gwamnati ba yana nan a ciki kuma an sa hannu an yadda kuma a cikin yajiji da muka yi mun ce a national economic council wanda gwamnati suna a cikin ta wanda shi mai girma vice president shi ne ke shugaban ta wannan economic council din a yi magana na a wurin so da duk gwamnati su biya abin da aka yi a tsakiya federal government ke nan so da su ma jihohin su ji su yi irin wannan ƙarin madalla masu kallon mu shirin taskar ne ke zuwa muku daga nan sashen Hausa na murya Amurka a birnin Washington DC kafin mu ci gaba ga wannan Amurka an tsige kakakin majalisar wakilan Amurka wanda shine mataki na biyu na wadanda za su iya mai murgun gurbin shugaban kasa idan aka samu gidi Kevin Makati na jam'iyyar Republican ya fuskanci kalubale daga yan jam'iyyar shi a majalisar kuma a zaben cire shin da aka gudanar ya gaza samun kuri'a 218 ga fassarar rahoton Catherine Gibson For what purpose does the gentleman from Florida wani irin yana yi bambara kwai da ba a safa gani ba a siyasa Amurka a karan farko tunda ake an tsige shugaban majalisar wakilan Amurka daga kujerar shi Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant Dan majalisar wakilan Republican Matt Gates ya tilasta kada gurin a tumbuke Makati inda ya bayyana takaici kan salon shugabancin Makati sakamakon gazawar shi na zartar da kudurin dokar kasafin kudin gwamnati a makon jiya mai fifi ko ga tsarin kashe kudade na masu ra'ayin yan mazan jiya na majalisar ina jin bashin trillion dala 33 tashin hankali ne ina ganin fuskantar gidin kudi dala trillion 2.2 a duk shekara tashin hankali ne ina jin cewa ga zartar da kudurin dokar kashe kudi da yake lo tashin hankali ne Makati ya shaida mane mala labare cewa ba zai saki tsayawa takarar mukamin kakakin majalisa ba. Zan yi ci gaba da gwagwar maya, wata kila ta wata fuska da ba. Ba zan saki tsayawa takarar mukamin shugaban majalisa ba. To sai dai dan kankanin rinjayen na Republican a majalisar na nufin guys na bukatar kurkun yan Republican 8 ne da daukacin yan Democrat domin tsige Makati wanda ke ci gaba da fuskantar caccaka tun bayan amincewar shi da rijejeniyar ciki gibin bashin da gwamnati ke cewa da shugaba Joe Biden a farkon shekarar bana 
Many of us had begged the speaker. Dama daga cikin mu mun rika ruƙon ka ka kin majalisar. Mun ta ruƙon shi muna maimaitawa. Da yayi amfani da cike gifin bashin da gwamnati ke cewa domin sai ta rage kashe kudade da sauye-sauye. Makon haka sai ya amince da tsayuwa ga samar da kari ga kudaden da gwamnati ke cewa bashi. Duk da dai mafi rin jihar yan Republicans sun kada kura a ganin makati ya rike kujerar shi. Think long and hard. Kana buk atari yin tanani mi zirpi. Kapan ka jika spowa kanka. Chikin wata tashin tashina. Sabo da yang atayi wa asa. Tu chan tun zamu dosa. Muddu maka bar shuga vun chum majali sar. Uru yin endu maka rane su kazama zin siya mat awrin ki daya awa jang kawadu makati. Mokusa. Wa maka da gora adwa mun siya da makati. Ga maka yin sana kaka ki majali saba. Bai ko can can ta ba kuma ina jin za ku iya ganin hakan ko a cikin mutanen shi za ku ga yadda yake mana da mu da mutanen Amurka us and the american people sauyi mai cike da tarihi a Amurka majalisa ta samu kanta a wani muhimmin yanayi yar gajeriyar jeje ne da ta amince da samar da kudin tafiyar da gwamnati ba ta hada da taimakon da Amurka shi bai wayi kuran ba all the house leaders kacin shugabancin majalisar na goyen bayan ci gaba da taimakawa Ukraine Haka zalika mafi rin jayin mambobin majalisar daga bangaren yan Republican na goyen bayan ci gaba da taimaka mai Ukraine akwai yan tsararu masu karamin rin jayi daga ciki da ke baya baya da batun amma ba jam'iyyar su suke wakilta ba ba kuma shugabancin su suke wakilta ba their party they don't represent their leadership amma ko mai zuwa ne yan majalisar dokokin Amurkan za su kada kura a domin zaben sabon kakakin majalisa Shugabannin mulkin soji a Niger sun yi kira ga al'umomi a kasar da su kwantar da hankalin su bayan da yan ta'adda sun bayan da yan ta'adda suka kashe sojojin kasar 29 a wani hari a yammacin kasar cikin wata sanarwa ma'aikatar tsaron Niger ta ce yan ta'adda fiye da 101 sun yi amfani da bama bamai da makamar roka wajen kai hari kan sojojin wadanda suke gudanar da aikin kakkabe yan ta'adda a kusa da iyakar kasar da Mali Maikata tsaron ta ce an kashe yan ta'adda da dama Yusuf Abdullahi ya aiko mana da wannan rahoton A cewar sanarwa sojojin Niger din al'amarin ya faru ne a lokacin da jami'an tsaron Niger suka kai wani samami na murkushe barazan an bindiga akan iyakar jamhuriyar Niger da kasar Mali wanda sanarwa ta ce ya bai wa jami'an tsaron nan Niger nasara halaka an bindiga da dama tare da lalata dimbin makamun su akan hanyar jami'an tsaron ta dawowa ne wasu daruruwan an bindiga cikin motoci da kuma saman babura suka yi musu kwanton bauna wannan harin shine mafi muni tun bayan da sojoji suka kwaci mulki a hannun farahulla a watan yulin da ya gabata harin ya kuma biyo bayan wanda ya faru a makon da ya gabata a kauyen kandaji dake cikin yanki talibiri wanda yayi sanadiyar mutuwar jami'an tsaron Niger 12 a cewar sanarwa ta hukumomin jamhuriyar Niger ku tsanda jami'an tsaron Niger suka yi a wasu hirarki na yan bindigar ya ba su damar samun bayanan da ke nuna cewa yan bindigar sun samu gudunwar wata kasa ta waje zargin wata kasa ta waje musamman ma kasar Faransa da hannu a hararren da yan bindiga ke kai a wasu yankunan Niger musamman ma yankin Tilbiri da ke mutun kasar ya kare zafafa ne tun bayan jun mulkin rana 26 ga watan yulin da ya gabata a jamhuriyar ta Niger muna zargin su dan saboda abubuwa ne wanda ya zaman to kai su da kansu in kai lisahi shin wai na ji bana kiba a wannan kauyukan ina ake kere bindigogi a wannan kauyukan ina suke samun kudin da suke an wani da su da yau da gobe a wannan kauyukan wanda ya zaman to eh gona kai ma bisa aiki da su a can fasuka cikin daji ne suke to in kai lisahi ina suke samun ci da sha da abubuwan da suke wakana yau da gobe ai akwai wani dodo bayan su wanda yake ba su kudi da kuma matakan wannan bana da suke yi mu ba zargi bane muke eh kasan mali ta kai kara majalisar dinkin yana da hujjoji ta kai mahuranci sundum cikin yan ta'adda tana ba da horo kasar burkina haka nan mu ma nan sai nsp suna da hujja akan faransa inda zuwa za a yi ayi tonin siriri a bincika ai mun san hare harin da an kai baya mun san ba mai ai bindiga bana saman moto zai zuwa ya shahi inatas zai zuwa ya shahi sina godar mun san akwai dala daga shin kadamu to sai dai Anas Bangare Asumanu Muhammadu kusa a jam'iyyar PNDS tarayya da sojoji suka hanbare kirayi ga majalisar sojojin Niger na ganin ta mayar da hankali ga tunkarar matsalar tsaro ga dangadan kamar yadda ta yi alƙawari a lokacin da ta kwaci mulki a hannun su mai makon mayar da hankali kan zarge zarge a wurina zan can ku kuwa da faransu ya kare jikadan su ya tahi kuma shugaban su ya ce nan zuwa ƙarshen shekara za su tahiyar su su bar kasar nan kenan wata biyu kenan su mai da hankalin su ga kasa kaga wannan wata biyu da aka yi abun ba abin da ya sake sai ƙara gurbaci yake yi 
to su dauki mataki kamar yadda suka dauki alƙawari gaba al'umma da cewa za su kawo maganin wannan hara-hara da ake makasan Niger saboda haka ina ba shi gaban ka sa shawara ya kau da kanshi daga irin wa'annan mutane da bisa hanya na suka ce ayi kaza ka ayi kaza babu dan kasa na kirkir da ke fatan kasar shi to zan ba ta da tsaro matsalar ta tsaro da jamhuriyar Niger ta shari shekaru da dama tana fuskanta a wasu yankunan kasar a baban nan ta fi kamari ne a yankin Tilbiri dake mutun kasar musamman ma kan iyakokin kasar da na Mali da kuma Burkina Faso Yusuf Abdullahi ta skarbiyo e da ginya mai jamhuriyar Niger a cewar bankin duniya a shekarar 2022 mutane miliyan 64 ba su da asusan ajiyar kudi na banki wadanda suke da asusan ajiya na banki din kuma suka fada cikin tarkon yan damfara ta internet Gibson Emeka ya hada mana wannan rahoton a wata ranar karshen mako katin cire kudi a banki na Modesta Oluchuku ya makale a cikin ATM lokacin da ta koma bankin domin karbar kudin ta sai ta tarar an cire dala 750 da hamsin daga asusun ajiyar ta Modesta ta ce bankin ya sheda mata cewa ana ci gaba da bincike akan badakalar amma har yanzu ba a mayar mata da kudin ta ba narrated everything to them na musu bayanin komai har suka kunna kamaran su ta CCTV suka kalli komai sun ga lokacin da na shigo cikin banki har da na kira yan sanda a karshen ranar amma babu abin da ya faru na kuma rubuta musu takarda nothing happen i wrote letter duk da cewa lamarin ya faru ne tun a shekarar 2017 olichuku bata hakura ba lauyanta edo dagi francis yace saboda tsawon lokaci tun da abin ya faru zai yi wuya a samu kudin ta So most times one thing that is happen idan irin wannan abu ya faru muna ba da shawara ga wadanda abin ya shafa da su gaggauta tuntubar lauya domin da zara an yi hakan mu a matsayin mu na lauyoyi mun san wanda za mu tuntuba kamar rubutawa bankuna nan da nan mu dakatar da ayyuka na asusun sannan a tuntubi hukumomi then we also need to uh, reach out to the authorities dan fara ta hada hadar bankuna ta internet na kara zama ruwan dare a Nigeria a cewar committee bankunan Nigeria dake yaki da dan fara kudi ta internet Nigerian Electronic Fraud Forum tunin bangaren banki ya riga ya asara sama da dala miliyan 12.2 a shekarar 2023 ta hanyar hada hadar kudi ta internet mara gaskiya da mara sala sisi mai sharhi kan lamarin tsaro ta yanar gizo Bernard Opey yayi nuni da daya daga cikin matsalolin wasu daga cikin wadannan hanyoyi ba su da matakan tsaro masu karfi har ila yau mutane suna yin asara kudi ta hanyar zamba ta ATM zamba ta yanar gizo yaudara ta email da kuma na'urori na sadarwa wadanda ke taimakawa masu amfani su duba kudaden su kuma bankunan Najeriya ba wai kawai suna fama da zamba bane har ma da asarar kwararrun ma'aikata inji masani kan harkokin kudi Emmanuel Agboloku many of the banking staff da yawa daga cikin ma'aikatan banki da suka samu horo sosai sun bar harkar banki a Najeriya don samun ingantacciyar rayuwa a Canada da Turai saboda tsarin samun cigaba a can ya fi kyau a cewar bankin duniya mutane miliyan 64 a Najeriya ba su da asusun banki a shekarar 2022 duk da yunkurin da gwamnatin Najeriya ta yi tun daga shekarar 2019 na canza tsarin da rage amfani da kudin takarda don samun yawan mutane a cikin sabon tsarin kudi Okpa ya ce zamba ta hanyar na'urori tana hana mutane da yawa bude asusun banki akwai kuma damuwar cewa mutane da yawa sun guji hanyoyin internet ko kuma gujewa amfani da fasahar hada hadar kudi the banking fraud can hakika zamba ta hanyar banki na iya sa wannan rashin karbuwa ga mutane saboda wasu dalilai na daya yana da alaka da rashin yadda rashin amincewar tsaro akwai wasu customer da suka fuskanci irin wannan shi yasa kuma babu wani abin da za ku gaya musu dan su koma masana sun ce mutane na iya kare kansu daga zamba ta hanyar yanar gizo ta hanyar matakan kare na urorin lantarki gujewa amfani da internet na wifi da babu tabbas akan shi wajen yin hada hadar kudi sa ido kan asusun banki akai akai sai ta karfafan kalmomin sirri da ba da damar tantance abubuwa so biyu a duk inda yake yiwuwa 
to adadin da bankin duniya ya bayar na mutanen da ba su da asusan ajiya na banki a shekarar 2022 a Nigeria ne yanzu kuma sai ni shadi dubban mutane ne suka samu halartar kasaitaccen bikin raya al'adu na duniya na shekarar 2023 da ya gudana a birnin Washington DC na Amerika kimanin kasashe 180 suka samu wakilci a wajen bikin wanda ya hada da rayayye da kada kade da kuma nuna abincin al'adu daban-daban Haruna Shehu ya hada mana wannan rahoton Yadda aka gudanar da kasaitaccen bikin nuna al'adu na duniya na 2023 da kungiyar wanzan da zaman lafiya ta The Art of Living ta shirya a birnin Washington DC na Amurka kenan mutane 800 ne suka yi rijistar halartar bikin inda wakile daga kimanin kasashe 180 suka kasance a wurin bikin dai ya kunshi rayayye da kada kadi na al'adu da kuma nuna naukan abinci daban-daban na al'adun mutane na kasashe daban-daban daga cikin manyan mutane da suka gabatar da jawabai a wajen taron dai akwai tsohon babban sakataren majalisar dinkin duniya Ban Ki-moon da kuma tsohon shugaban Najeriya Olishegun Obasanjo shugabannin dai sun nuna muhimmancin irin wannan biki wajen kawo hadin kai da zaman lafiya a tsakanin al'ummomin duniya this really helps wannan zai taimaka matuka wajen kawo zaman lafiya da kaunar juna a tsakanin mutane masu al'adu daban-daban da kuma kabilu daban-daban a fadin duniya abin ya matukar karfafa mini guiwa na dade banga mutane masu harsuna daban-daban sun hadu kamar haka ba suna magana da yare guda dukkanmu mun zama daya wasu yan kallo sun shedawa muryar amurka cewa bikin ya matukar kayatar da su kuma sun ji dadi yadda suka ga mutane daban-daban sanye da kayan gida wannan biki ne mai matukar kayatarwa da ke nuna zaman lafiya yana da matukar kyau da muka ga mutane daban-daban sun hadu dan abu guda da kuma ganin al'adun sauran duniya idan mun amince da zaman lafiya a duniya idan mun yadda cewa kowa da kowa zai hada kai babu bukatar yake yake idan mutane suka fahimci juna za a samu zaman lafiya a duniya whenever we know each other you know it will foster world peace a shekarar 2006 ne dai aka fara wannan biki a bangalo wanda yake ci gaba da samun karbuwa a duniya to masu kallon mu anan kuma muka kawo ƙarshen shirin mu na wannan mako sai kuma mako mai zuwa idan Allah ya kai mu za mu kawo muku wani sabon shirin taskar BOE domin sake kallon wannan shirin da masu sauran shirye-shiryen mu na baya sai a ziyarci shafukan mu kamar yadda suka bayyana a cikin talabijin ɗinku muna godiya gare ku masu kallon mu da ma dukkanin waɗanda suka taimaka wajen hada wannan shiri har yazo gare ku Zahra Aminu Fage ce daga nan birnin Washington DC nake cewa mu kasance lafiya